Have you ever been told your liver tests are just a little off? Or maybe someone mentioned a fatty liver during an ultrasound and you just brushed it off? Well, you could have liver damage right now and not even know it. About one in three adults have this condition and most feel completely fine. It's called fatty liver disease or metabolic dysfunction associated steatotic liver disease and it's becoming one of the most common health threats in the world. This isn't just a liver issue, it's a warning sign that something is wrong with your metabolic health. Fatty liver disease is closely linked to the obesity, type 2 diabetes, insulin resistance, and heart disease. In this video, I'll explain what it is, how it starts, the signs to watch for, and what you can do through lifestyle medications and supplements to turn things around. Fatty liver happens when too much fat builds up inside liver cells. A small amount is normal, but when more than 5 to 10% of your liver's weight is fat, it becomes a medical concern called steatosis. In the early stages, there is no inflammation yet, and this is the best time to reverse it. But if the fat buildup continues, it triggers inflammation, liver cell damage, and eventually scar tissue. This can progress to fibrosis, cirrhosis, or even liver cancer. And most people don't feel anything until it's far too long. You're more likely to develop fatty liver disease if you have obesity or excess belly fat, type 2 diabetes, high cholesterol or high triglycerides, polycystic ovary syndrome, prediabetes or insulin resistance. But even people who are slim can still develop fatty liver disease if their metabolic health is poor. One key point, to be diagnosed with fatty liver, alcohol can't be the main cause. That means no more than 14 drinks per week for men and seven for women. Above that, we have to consider alcohol-related liver disease rather than just fatty liver disease. Most people have no symptoms at all, but if signs do show up, they might include fatigue, mild discomfort or pressure in the upper right abdomen, unexplained weight gain or brain fog. Often, it's picked up by accident, like a bright liver on ultrasound or slightly elevated ALT or AST on blood work. Fatty liver isn't just a liver problem. It increases your risk of type 2 diabetes, heart disease, stroke, liver failure, and liver cancer. This is why early detection and lifestyle changes are so important. There are several non-invasive ways to check for how advanced the fatty liver is. These include fibroscan, magnetic resonance elastography, and blood-based scoring systems like the NAFLD fibrosis score. These tools help us track the health of your liver without needing an actual biopsy. Weight loss is the single most effective treatment. Losing just 3 to 5% of your weight can reduce liver fat. Losing 10% or more can improve inflammation and even reverse scarring. GLP-1 receptor agonists are new medications that can help with weight loss and have shown impressive results. Over 60% of patients with fatty liver improved using GLP-1 receptor agonists. Vitamin E at 800 units a day can help non-diabetic adults with fatty liver but it's not yet recommended for people with diabetes or cirrhosis. Omega-3 fatty acids may help lower triglycerides, though they aren't officially approved for fatty liver yet. Alpha-lipoic acid is a potent antioxidant that may support liver function and improve insulin sensitivity. Inositol is especially useful in people with insulin resistance. Early studies show it may reduce liver fat levels. Following a Mediterranean-style diet is ideal for liver and metabolic health. Focus on olive oil, fatty fish like salmon, lots of vegetables, whole grains and nuts, berries and low glycemic index fruits. Even if you don't lose weight, simply exercising regularly at least 30 minutes a day can significantly reduce liver fat. If you've been told you have fatty liver or you're at risk because of your weight, blood sugar or cholesterol, take it seriously. You can protect your liver and your life by cutting down sugar and processed foods, moving your body every day, getting the right labs and imaging tests, and talking to your doctor about medications and supplements that can help. Thank you very much for watching. If this video helped you better understand fatty liver, please leave a like, subscribe, and share it with someone who may benefit. 
This is not medical advice, and remember, taking small steps now could save you from serious complications later.